microphone. So today we're going to be comparing the this $10 microphone right here to this $100 HyperX Quadcast microphone. So let's start with unboxing it. Microphone on the left is costs about $15, but I've used it a little bit, so it's going to depreciate to about $10. So we're just going to say it's worth about $10 right there. This one's $100. It's brand new. So let's just uh, yank this one over and start opening this one. So as you can see, I got this packaging right here. And it looks pretty nice. Uh, that is, it's very well packaged. Uh, we're going to take this plastic part off. And here we go without the plastic. You can see right here that it is the HyperX Quadcast. Just the front of the box, you can see this is nice detailing here. This has all the specs. If you want to pause it, you can read that. Um, as you can see, it works with PC, PS4, and Mac. I'm sure it works with Xbox as well. Um, they probably just have something to do with Sony. So here's some more specs you can uh, read if you'd like. Um, I'm not going to go into detail over this, but as you can see, it'll work on all these different programs. And that's the dealio. Now here's some more specs and uh, things it can do. Um, you can go ahead and pause the video if you want to read all that. I'm not going to read all of that for the sake of time. And that's basically the details of it. Um, here's the other side. This is kind of a brief explanation of what the product looks like itself. And the top of the box is just like this. Uh, with nothing much on it. So let's get inside the box. We're just gonna kind of cut that part if I can with one hand. Boom. So let's see what this has in store for us. So, oh, the bottom is also sealed with tape. So we're probably just gonna wanna cut that as well. And let's see what this has. So it kind of just slides out like this. Um, probably just take this off like that like so and we got this black box put that over here and so yeah that looks quite nice so we got the top of the box right here just find a way to open this somehow I think this this right here might open it this is a complicated looking box oh I almost just got a paper cut so yeah, complicated box. I'll come back to you guys when I figure out how exactly to open it. Figure out something pretty basic. You literally just lift the top off here. Like so. And it kind of flips out like that. And here we are. We've got some styrofoam and some instructions. We have a nice little HyperX card here. Um, congratulations on joining the HyperX family. That's pretty cool. Um, instructions. And... HyperX has you covered. Okay. Uh, let's pull this out. So, uh, straight up. It's just gonna hopefully come on out. Oh, that does not sound good. Let's see if I can uh, change this. Okay, so that kind of came right off with a little ripping at the bottom. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if that was supposed to happen, but uh, I guess it did. So here's the microphone looking quite nice. Um, looks like we got power cables here. Or, yeah, no, that's what connects it to the computer itself. Um, we have this little thing on the bobber right here. And we have the microphone itself. Now that is pretty heavy, actually. If I can get it out without... Oh, okay. So it looks like it's uh, stuck to the styrofoam piece, kind of. So, um, I doubt it's a fancy box. So this is a $100 microphone right here in my hand. That is the most I've ever spent on a microphone in my life. That is a lot of money. Okay. Well, that is the microphone right here, and we're going to go test it out in the setup. So see you guys there. So we got our setup here, and uh, it actually looks quite nice with everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and cable up and we'll run some tests to see how well it compares to my other $10 microphone. I had it connected it and what I think is cool is that this bad boy actually lights up. It's pretty, pretty awesome. So here with our setup, let's get ready to run some sound tests. Okay, so as you can see, another cool feature about this microphone is that as you can see, as I'm talking, the microphone input is causing the bar to move, which means it can 
sense my voice, I can hear my voice, but when you tap on the top, like so, it just like, it doesn't, it stops. You can't hear you anymore, which is really cool. And also turns off the lights, tap it again, lights back on, car is moving, all good. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the test that I did with the microphone. So this is the $10 microphone right here. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a, how to money farm and XP farm in Lumion Legacy. Okay, so that was a video I decided not to upload um, because of the lag. Uh, but yes, as you could hear, the mic quality in that video did not sound great. It was cutting out a little bit, and it just didn't, overall, the quality did not sound good. Now, here's uh, a clip that I filmed with the new mic. And by the way, I'm talking with the new mic right now. Alright, test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. So, as you can tell in that video, it um, the audio was so much more clear. It sounded way better than the $10 microphone. Now, when it comes down to which microphone is better, it's obviously the $100 microphone. In fact, it even has a vibration proof stand so if your desk vibrates you won't be able to hear the vibration I'm vibrating my desk right now you can't really hear it um so overall the the hundred dollar mic is obviously way better but if you don't have the budget for a hundred dollars I'd go ahead and get the ten dollar microphone because it's still a pretty good microphone but not a hundred dollars so anyways guys thank you for watching I'll leave a description to both the mics uh below and I'll see you in the next one uh Social media is in the description, and see you guys.